Now That's he right. just told you on the first day of the week, let every one of you lay by him in store. He told you to put it up on the first day of the week. Yep. All right. Listen to what he said. Read it again. Make sure you ain't twist this up now. Upon the first day of the Upon week. Upon the first day of the week. Let every one of you lay by him in store. Let every one of you take your money and put it in the offering basket. Because that's the only day you're supposed to give money mm -hmm. on right. Sunday. That's, right. a, that's exactly what it said. Look at this to him. Let every one of you lay by him in store. How you come up if I tell you to lay that by you in store and I'm coming by you with something? How you, I didn't tell you to give it. I told you to lay it by you and store it up then. I told you to keep that put aside on the first day of the week. Because right. on the Sabbath, we ain't do no gathering. Right. Right. On the Sabbath, you should have been done with all your labor and your work. Right. So now he told him on the first day of the week. He didn't tell him to give it on Sunday. He said, lay it by you in store. That's right. That there'll be no gathering. Amen. When I come. That's right. So did he say he was coming on Sunday? <laughs> when Paul coming? When Paul coming? Man. That's amazing. What he, this is a religion. If y'all was in this church, and we done taught Sunday worship, Sunday mm -hmm. gathering, based upon these two writings, y'all wouldn't have no question? When somebody take your time and just show you what he said right here? That's right. Where did he say give it? Look at, you, look at your Bible. Those of you looking, that got just an ounce of common sense. Look at that and, and pull out give on Sunday only. Exactly, because it's not in there. It's not in there. He said that there. there'll be no gathering when I come. He didn't even tell you he was coming on Sunday. Oh. What did it say he was coming on Sunday? What did the eight verse of that same book say? Amen. I'm just curious. What could it possibly say? Yes, sir. Listen. But I will tarry at Ephesus uh -oh. until Pentecost. Whoa! That's right. Told that. Boom. <laughs> Here he go again talking about Pentecost. <laughs> How do you set in these churches that take these two writings and establish Sunday worship, right. yet you find two recordings where this, what they took for Sunday worship, we show they couldn't have been keeping. Right. Here go Paul again telling you about they had to be doing Feast of Weeks. That's right. Because he's talking about he's going to stay everything for Pentecost. That's Listen right. why, because it's done away with and I need to correct the church. Hmm. For a great door and effectual is open unto me. Oh my goodness. Something happened when you start obeying these holy days right. and feast days. That's right. Yeah. Ain't nothing going to happen when you establish these days to these folks, right. guys, because they don't even line up with the Bible. Yes, sir. What did I want in the 21st chapter of the book of Acts of the Apostles? I appreciate that, Pastor. Oh, you yeah. Just, you know, I understand that. that yeah, just soothe my soul. Hey, I, and all they got this show, Bible? Really, yeah. They, all these folks, <laughs> listen, these people have sat and put a bundle on these folks. These people ain't going to never be free to be delivered. Amen. These folks sit in these churches with old homosexual Eddie Long. He not the only one. These people know he's not the only person doing that. They know these men, these men having baby with their members and with their That's congregation. Right. But people rather sit in these rotten rat hole church instead of coming somebody and right to divide truth. Right. They can say I holler, I yell, I call people out, but they ain't got one of them done brought nobody to correct what we're doing. Amen. They ain't got one church say I call them and try to come to feel what we preach. Because you know why? I ain't got to prove it out. Proof in the pudding. That's right. Tell it. Ain't nobody coming from miles to see them. That's right. Isn't that right? Listen, 21, 23, book of Acts of the Apostles. Listen. Do therefore this that we say to thee. Back up to 20th verse. Listen to it. Amen. Come on. This and is when, 21, 20. Listen. And when they heard it. And when they heard it. They glorified the Lord. They glorified the and Lord. And said unto him. And said unto him. Thou seest, brother, how many thousands of Jews there are which believe. Y'all hear that? How many thousands of Jews that believe when Paul would come back rehearsing them how, to, how they had got these folk to turn to God, the Gentiles as well. Listen. And they are all zealous of the law. And they're all zealous of the law. Listen to what they're enthusiastic about the law. Listen. And they are informed of thee. They're informed of thee. They've been told about thee. That thou teachest all the Jews which are among the Gentiles. To do what? To forsake Moses. Uh-oh. They're going to take this. They're where they stop and see Paul was teaching them, Paul was teaching them to forsake circumcision of the flesh. That's never right. circumcision the heart. That's right. That was there was some modification made. Right. He never did away with circumcision. Mm -hmm. Even in the book of Jeremiah, the fourth child, he said circumcise your heart. That's circumcision right. was not done away. Circumcision in the, in the flesh was done away with, not in the heart. That's, That's right. right. Listen. Saying that they are not to circumcise their children. Now, what were he teaching them? I, what I just told y'all right here, what he just told them. He just said, saying, thou shalt not keep the holy days. Saying that thou art not to circumcise their children. Now, he just said he told them to forsake the law of Moses. He should be saying, saying how he told them don't keep Sabbath because Sunday been established. Now, this is the Apostle Paul that they claim to set up their Sunday worship. Now, he just said that Paul was teaching the people to forsake Moses. What was he teaching them to forsake Moses about? 
Why not the Sabbath? Because they said Sunday been established. Why not the holy days? Listen. Neither to walk after the custom. Neither to walk after the custom. What is it therefore? Well, come on. The multitude must needs come together. Y'all hear that? We got to get the people together. That's right. Church of Christ want to get right. Let's get the folk together and let the folk see. Y'all need to tear that rotten scaffold down and come on to some truth. Amen. Amen. Listen. Yeah. For they will hear that thou art come. Come on. Do therefore this. Do we, therefore this. What you want them to do? That we say to thee. That we say unto thee. We have four men which have a vow on them. They had four men that had a vow on them. What you want Paul to do now? Them take. Them take. And purify thyself with and them. And turn them over and let them know they New Testament creature and the Lord done away with and tell them to come to church Sunday morning. Mm. This is what he told them. And purify thyself with them. And you purify yourself with them. And be at charges with them. And be responsible with them. That they may shave their head. That they may shave their head. And all may know. That all, that all may know. That those things whereof they were informed concerning thee are nothing. So if somebody told you Paul to establish Sunday worship, that's nothing. Amen. They said they want everybody to know when they hear about Paul, it wasn't nothing. Listen what they want Paul to let the folk know by him doing that. But that thou thyself also walkest orderly and keepest the law. How are you going to explain Sunday worship? And the Bible just said they told Paul to show the people that he also walk orderly. You ain't even walking right, you don't That's keep right. the law. That's right. That he walk orderly and keepeth the law. That he walketh orderly and keepeth the law. How he going to keep the law? He done told these folks Sunday, Sunday service been established and the Sabbath done away with. Mm -hmm. How he going to do that? Mm -hmm. Told Paul to show that you also walk it orderly and keep it the law. You remember that teacher? I ain't heard it. I ain't never heard it. How they gonna explain that? I don't know, but you know what preacher. Go ahead. When I get back home, yeah. man, I'm gonna be in a world of trouble. They're gonna be all right now. They're gonna be all right now. I'm gonna stand yeah, they're gonna, on tell them what your granny told you though, cause we fighting. These folks coming, they try to get us down. What are we gonna need to do? You're gonna have to stand up, cause they get you down, they're gonna kill you. You got to fight. You gotta keep fighting. <laughs> you gotta keep on fighting, cause they get you down, they gonna kill you. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Church of Christ. <laughs> we still, they ain't gonna get us down. We on the wall, church. Let's see it, church. Let's know we fight. We on the wall, they ain't gonna get us down. Man, we stand on the only thing God done us tell. Yes, sir. That's it. Hit that ever part one time. And he for me to wait time up with them, me with them trying to get them some publicity. They can't even prove out what they're preaching. That's right. Oh, boy. Are we ducking and dodging anything we teach and preach? No, sir. How hard am I to find? Every time I find it, for they always want to sound talk to me. Every time I say, prove out with the body, they always tell me, uh, see what it is. I need to explain. I said, no, thank you. You ain't even nothing. Mm -hmm. You're going to call me and you're going to debate me and you got to explain. All you got to do is say what the book says. That's right. I mm -hmm. said, I said, after the 20 chapter, said, remember Saturday, day, keep it holding. I ain't nothing to talk about. What you got for it now? Mm -hmm. What you got to say that X that out? That's right. Come you X that out. Why he ain't take out Dosh and not commit adultery? That's right. Isn't that right? Why he ain't take out, why he ain't take out Dosh and have not have no other, no other gods besides me? Mm -hmm. They always go to something they know they ain't obeying God. Put it in there just to trick them up. That's right. That's right. Everything we got, God established and saved it, folks, with. The book of Acts, uh, Matthew chapter 5, verse 17. So they received it of the Lord Jesus. What did Jesus tell them? Think not that I am come to destroy the law. All the who? Prophets. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. The only way that Sunday could be established at a new worship day and Sabbath been taken away, God, he would have had to destroy Moses. He had to wipe all the prophets out in order for that to be destroyed, in order for that to be established. The only way you're going to set up a new, you, you're going to take down the old. Isn't that right? you got to take down the old to set up a new now. Now, you're not going to sit here and tell me that he don't establish no Sunday worship now, and he didn't go and destroy the prophet because he just said he did. I don't know how you can go back and read anything. You ain't even got no being to read no Matthew, Mark, and no Luke, and no John because that's scripture. That's right. That was written under the law. You ain't got no being to read none of that. That's right. Now, he Amen. just said, I don't think I come to do that. Amen. Come on. For verily I say unto you. For truly I say unto you. Till heaven and earth pass. Now, Church of Christ, you still sit here on planet earth. I don't care how stupid you are in the head and your mind is on Venus. You still sit here on planet earth and he said unto heaven and earth. Pass one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law. Still sit here on planet earth. How do you let a preacher sit down and tell you that's done away with? We don't have to keep that no more. Mm. Yet Jesus said. Till, till what? Till heaven and earth pass. One jot. Still got clouds, still got moons, still got stars, still got sun. Still sit here on earth. Still got ocean. And you gonna let somebody tell you Sabbath been taken away and Sunday been Sabbath. Yeah, he done told you Jesus said that. Who they named their church out? Church of Christ. 
The man that cleaned his name, their church out to say it this now. Mm. Till heaven and earth pass one jot or one tittle not shall. Not the smallest writing, not the smallest letter. Shall, shall in any wise. No wise pass from the law. Until what? All be fulfilled. Now keep on sitting now. Keep on believing you want to and go to hell. Amen. When Jesus met the young man and the young man asked what, what he needed to do to be perfect, what did Jesus tell him? Keep it Let's see what he talked about. 18th chapter of the book of Matthew? Yes, sir. I'm just curious. These small things y'all know, but I'm just curious. When they go back and they say they follow in Christ, think about this now. We, we sat here and said the way of God because the Bible teaches in the Psalm 1830 to ask for God his way of perfect. The church supposed to be on the Lord Jesus. Isn't that right? Christ is not his name. Isn't that right? Christ is not his name. Messiah is not his name. He has a name. We call him that because that Christ means he's the anointed one. They claim they said in the anointed church, which should come from this man, yet they teach it, don't even line up with what he said. I would be concerned about that. I said that my church is the church of the anointed. The anointed who? The anointed Jesus? Who said that one jot, now one till of the law gonna pass and all be fulfilled? Paul and say, you know what commandment we gave you by the Lord Jesus? They follow a, a, a Paul that said he ain't got revelation from Jesus, who had to go to show the people that he himself wore order and keepeth the law. I would have some real concerns about what's sitting in these religions. Man. I would start to question, where do we get our dress code from? Where do we get our day of worship from? Where do we get all these functions from we have in the church when they don't line up with the book? He commanded them to come back three times in a year. They put the people before the Lord to keep the day. Yet Paul, who we said we follow, who set up Sunday worship, he kept them. Amen. Now, this, this is what I asked anybody watching me. Spend a Sunday worship. I would just go and ask my preacher, come this Sunday, I got a couple of questions based on what I heard that loud mouth, yelling, country fired preacher in Georgia running everybody down. If you just explain this Acts 20 and 6 and 16, if you can explain this 16 chapter of 1 Corinthians, and then we follow in Jesus, right? Oh, yeah, we follow following Jesus. That's who, you see who we got on the stick? That's Jesus. Okay, we're going to hell for that one. Let's get this other straight. Because we are idolatry worshippers. That's right. You know we follow in Jesus. You seen that fish on the woman? Yeah, we're going to hell for that one. He told you don't have no images, nothing in the sea, nothing in the heavens. Ain't got no building with no doves. Ain't got no building no, with no hippie on, no stick, no coon. Ain't there no coon in no tree? Ain't there right no shisky ball? And none of that junk. You ain't got no bending with it because it's idolatry worshiper. But I will ask him now, we follow in Jesus. Here in the fifth chapter of the book of Matthew, verse 17, he said none are going to pass away. What we going to use to stop smell mouth right here? What we going to do when we follow in Jesus? We got the bracelet. What would Jesus do? Jesus, I want to be saved. This is what I'm asking. Jesus, I want to be saved. Speak to me right now and show me Sunday worship. Because I want to be saved and show me hippie on a stick. And, and show me the shishki bob and the coon in the tree. And come on right now and show me the little fish on the back of my car. Wait, what did it say there, Matthew? Close your eyes, church. Close your eyes. We're looking for an answer. Watch this. He's going to speak. 1916, the book of Matthew. What did it say? Listen to the book. And behold, and behold, one came and said unto him, Yes. Good master. Good master. What good? Oh, ain't Jesus good, church? Yes, sir. Say, Jesus, you're good. Jesus, Jesus you're good. good. Oh, hallelujah. <laughs> Come on, Jesus. Talk to us, good master. What good thing shall I do? Oh, say, Jesus, what good thing must I do? That I may have eternal life. Oh, come on, church. Oh, church. We want to answer the close out. <laughs> Jesus, what good thing must I do? Jesus, what good thing must I do? Come on, what else it say? That I may have eternal life. That we may have eternal life. We may have eternal life. Don't we want eternal life, church? Yes. yes. You want eternal life? Yes. All right, let's listen to what Jesus said. Come on, good Jesus. And he said unto him. Come on, what you going to say, good Jesus, Sunday this Sunday morning? <laughs> Why callest thou me good? Yeah, why call you good? There is none good but one. Ain't but one. That is God. Yeah. But if thou wilt enter into life. Say, Jesus, we want to enter into life. Jesus, we want to enter into life. Jesus, we want to enter into life. Come on, Jesus, tell us about Sunday morning worship. We got to be there, Jesus. Keep the commandments. <laughs> Amen. All that hollering and praying. Uh -huh. That's right. I am my clothes early Saturday night so I can be at church Sunday morning and hear what Jesus is going to tell me. Sure. What are you going to tell me?